how to create a high performance culture. Well, culture. On the one hand, culture is difficult to grasp. And on the other hand, you almost know when you enter a company or you even come up to the parking lot of a company, what the culture is. You will, you will feel it from the onset. If you're greeted properly at the reception and there's somebody who explains you all the safety rules and uh, people really take safety to a heart, for example, it shows that the company has a good safety culture. And the same thing holds true for food safety. And uh, there's, of course, many, many more aspects to culture. And as we will see later on in this presentation, culture is a really important part of getting a high performance organization. I already mentioned to you that food safety culture is getting a lot of attention nowadays. And yeah, there, it actually is for a reason. Uh, one reason, for example, is that uh, food safety culture is becoming part, you might say, of the legal framework around the globe. If you look at the USA, for example, the FDA uh, has already two years ago launched the new era of smarter food safety. And having a strong food safety culture is part of this. Um, and the interesting thing with anything or most of the things actually that um, the FDA is doing at the moment impacts all exporters to the USA as well. Any company which is exporting food stuff to the United States must abide to everything which is in the Food Safety Modernization Act, for example. So food safety culture, although it's not yet stipulated to the very last letter in, in the Food Safety Modernization Act, has a lot of attention from the FDA and they're really driving forward that agenda. Linked uh, to actually what is happening in the United States, uh, the EU, uh, almost two years ago, they launched uh, the official controls regulation. And uh, in it, uh, as part of it, actually, of that launch, we see, uh, of course, it needs to be included in uh, the national legislation of member states. But we actually see that also food safety culture is becoming an important aspect and is actually written down in the European legislation at the moment as I'll show you on one of the following slides. And of course, there is your national law, uh, and, and, and that's also, you know, I would, which you could call generic law, which usually stipulates, well, if you don't do the right things as a manager or management or as a company owner, you might actually be liable. You might be liable for all the costs that uh, are incurred if something goes wrong. And in some cases, if you, for instance, have shown to, 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 be a, to create a culture where it is okay to not deliver, um, uh, to deliver not safe food to others, it might actually result in strong uh, and severe financial pen pen penalties. But in some cases uh, and in some jurisdictions, even you could go to jail for this. And that's what a lot of managers uh, don't know. If you look at those uh, legal aspects, um, I already mentioned the FDA's new era of smarter food safety. Um, the FDA really wants to promote a food safety culture throughout the entire food system. So really from farm to fork. Um, and they want to do this by education, by training, and also by using the inspectional tools that the FDA has. And to, just to give you an example, since 2017, the FDA has doubled year on year the number of auditors working for the FDA who are not only auditing companies inside the USA, but also abroad, all those exporters that are providing foodstuff to the United States potentially will get audited by the FDA. And they will really start looking at your food safety culture and discuss it with you. And they see this as a critical component of the food safety work that they do themselves, right? that they do with the federal, state, local, tribal, territorial, and so on, and international regulatory partners. And yes, they really want to drive that agenda. Also, the FDA strongly supports uh, the development and harmonization of tools which we can use to further a food safety culture. 
And we'll talk about GFSI in a moment. Uh, they are, you might say, one step ahead or, already. And of course, they're, they are very much linked to what's happening uh, also it, at government level. If we look at Europe in a little bit more detail, we see that the uh, legislation, the 852 of 2004, has been recently adopted to actually embrace food safety culture. Um, and it really spells out that uh, there needs to be management commitment and also the commitment of the employees to, to, to do the right thing. So you need to have leadership and there should be hazard awareness throughout the organization of all the relevant food safety hazards. There should also be open communication so that if an employee sees something which is not okay, that they're actually yeah, stimulated to discuss this with management. And the management actually listens and doesn't punish the employee, for example. Also, management should make resources available to improve food safety where it is needed. And this can, of course, only be done if there are clear roles and responsibilities. And not unimportantly, staff should really be trained. So bringing this all together, that uh, the food safety approach actually is well secured in the organization. And interestingly enough, uh, these topics you will see in most of the GFSI schemes already uh, without even talking about culture. Um, but it shows that the EU really feels that this is an important thing. So that's why they put this into the law. 